Prime Minister Narendra Modi isn't as well known or popular as Mahatma Gandhi, but he certainly is one of the most interesting and popular Indian figures to come along since Gandhi's time. Modi has really built up a cult following in India, which is interesting because he's not your typical politician. He's a technocrat, he's considered quite abrasive, yet people in India are really wild about him. Now, Modi doesn't drink. He's a strict vegetarian and he loves to do yoga. He also writes poetry, has several poetry collections. He writes a lot about mother nature and patriotism in India. And he only sleeps about three hours a night. Now, the women in India are going crazy for him. If you look at his public appearances, a lot more women are turning out to see Narendra Modi than men are. Now, at one point, Modi wasn't even allowed to come to the United States. He was denied a visa to the U.S., and he was an international pariah over charges that he didn't do enough to stop religious riots in 2002 in the state of Gujarat when he was the chief minister there. But the U.S. really rolled out the red carpet for Modi's first visit to the United States. In addition to meeting with President Obama, he also met with members of Congress. And he's really resonating with the Indian diaspora here in the United States. There are about 3 million Indian Americans who keep close ties to their home country. And to many Indians, Modi's rise to be Prime Minister of India is as inspirational as President Obama's rise to be President of the United States.